Hello, my name's Abram, and today I'm bringing you an advanced strafing and wall bouncing tutorial. This is a video mainly for people that have no idea how to wall bounce or no idea how to strafe, but if you know how, this might help you out. Now, to be able to strafe and be able to wall bounce is absolutely necessary in Gears of War 3 to be really good at the game. I recommend that you use alternate controls. Here's an annotation that'll tell you exactly why, but use alternate controls. Right here in the beginning I'm showing you why you need to use that look sensitivity at 20. If you don't use that look sensitivity at 20, you aren't going to be able to reach your full wall bouncing potential. Now you see here that I can spin around and shoot someone that's coming up from behind me. With if And you wouldn't be able to do this if your sensitivity wasn't high enough. Alright, now moving on to strafing. Strafing in Gears of War is very, very simple to do. All that strafing is, is moving your character left and right, left and right. And it makes you a very difficult target to hit because your movements are just so random. And you never want to hold the L trigger because it'll make you a slower target. Always blind fire your gun. Here's strafing. It's that simple. Just move that thumbstick left and right, left and right, left and right. It's very effective on taking down, you know, people in a shotgun battle, especially wall bouncers. Now, when you strafe someone, you you basically just swing shot over and over. Swing that gun as soon as you get to him, you pull the trigger. Here's an in-game situation where I'll strafe him someone. Now, I strafed him, took him out. Uh, more guys coming up, and I'm strafing. It makes it me a much harder target to hit. And I took out two of the guys. Now, wall bouncing. Wall bouncing is just that. It's jumping from wall to wall to wall. To wall bounce, just rapidly tap A and look at the each cover as as you go. That'll That's how you wall bounce. And here's a good tip when you wall, wall bounce. Never wall bounce towards someone or you'll get killed like that. Alright, here's how you wall bounce. I have to put it in slow motion because my hands move too fast. You press A and you need to turn your character all the way around so that you, you're already looking at either your enemy or the next wall you're going to jump on. And you also notice my other hand, my left hand right there, also moves the thumbstick away from the wall just before I hit it. That uh, You don't have to do that, you can hit the wall. Uh, I just prefer not to always hit the wall. I think it makes me a harder target to hit. And here's a, an in-game example of a wall bounce. Now wall bouncing is more for evading than it is for you know, taking on people. So I recommend strafing over wall bouncing if you can. Wall bounce if there's multiple enemies. Uh, strafe if there's no cover. Alright, that is everything you need to know to be able to wall bounce and strafe in Gears of War 3. Thanks for watching. We know that teamwork comes first. We play for fun, but we play to win. We are one with Valor.